What's going on guys? I'm Justin from Everyday DIY and in today's video we're going to be testing out the noise removal tool from Adobe Elements Premiere 2020. Now this tool is supposed to remove grain and noise from your video from your video footage um, and what we're going to do is test it out to see if it actually works. So one of the reasons I purchased this program, the 2020 version, was specifically for this tool, and there's a few other ones in there as well. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this, and this is actually my first time using it, so let's go ahead and see how it works out. So what we have open in front of us is um, Adobe Premiere Elements, and we're gonna go ahead and add some media And let's try and find out where it is. Okay, so this video right here that you see highlighted has quite a bit of noise in it and grain. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And we will drag it into our timeline. So one of the reasons you get noise and grain like this in videos is because of your lighting setup. Now the camera that I was using to film this little segment here um, was the DJI Osmos Pocket. However, in most cases the footage will be nice and crisp, but I accidentally left on one of my ND filters which resulted in kind of like putting sunglasses on your camera on a bright day. So. That's how I arrived at this grainy looking footage. Now enough of that, let's go ahead and add in the effect. So we're going to scroll over here to your right hand side where you see FX. And we're going to search for noise. There you go, reduce noise. So go ahead and drag that over to your video clip. And what we have here is the reduced noise effect. Quality is default right now, but we have moderate and high. So let's go ahead and see what the default looks like and actually see if we can see anything just in this preview screen without rendering it. Yeah, you know what? I don't see much. We'll go ahead and click on high and see if that changes anything. I could hear my computer spooling up already, those fans. So this is resource intensive here. And you know what, I do see a little bit of a difference, specifically down in here. It's not as much as I thought it would be. Um, so right now the effect is on. Let's go ahead and turn it off and just pay close attention to this area here. So you see it get a little bit grainier. We'll turn it back on again. And it smoothens out just a wee bit. So, so far it's not looking good, but it may be due to my, um, my preview screen, the quality of that, because it's probably set to automatic right now and Judging by the sounds my computer's making, it's not able to keep up with this effect on at the moment. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and do a little comparing and contrasting. I'm going to copy this, copy our clip, and I'm going to paste it over here. And I'll drag it up. So what we're going to do now just so we can see the before and after a lot easier. I'm going to turn off the main clip and remove the noise effect from video number two as you see there. What we're also going to do here is add another effect and that is crop. So we're essentially just going to split the screen in half. So what this means is the left hand side of the screen is going to be the original and the right is going to be our video with the effect. 
So now on top of that, let's just go ahead and add one more little thing. Add some text, or actually not text, a line. So what we're going to do is just draw in our line. That's probably straight. And we should be good to go. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now that we're done here, I'm going to turn that video back on or that clip back on. And we're going to head over to the export and share tab and see what this looks like. Actually, before I do that, it's going to be a super short video. So let's go ahead and just duplicate that just to make it a bit longer. Now we're going to click on devices. Right now I'm using a 4K monitor and the video itself was also shot in 4K, 4K60. An important thing to note is your bit rate on the Osmos Pocket. It's uh, 100 megabytes per second, so we're going to crank that up to high, which will then bring it up to 100. And for here, we're just going to write test video and go ahead and click on save. So let's see what happens. And once we come back, we'll show you the final result. All right, guys, so here we have it. it. Took about 25 minutes to render the video out, which is longer than normal, but because we're using the noise removal tool at all three settings, that's the reason we have to wait a little bit longer. So what we're gonna do is speed this video up and take a look at the effect in action. All right, now guys, at first glance, I honestly cannot see any difference um, between the left and the right. So remember the left is the side of the screen that we have the tool or effect implemented on and the right is just normal. So I can't see much at all, but let's go ahead and slow this down a bit and see if that helps. Now, because we shot in 60 frames per second, we're able to bring this down to 30 without really any major loss in quality. And as you could see here, again, I still can't um, see any, any change between the side that has the noise removal tool and the right side, um, which is just the original shot footage. Now you can go ahead and press pause or play to see if you can see any difference, but at the end of the day, nothing notable for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give the noise removal tool a thumbs down because for me, it's not working. I might go ahead and try it out on some other video and see if the tool works a bit better. But for the time being, based on the footage that we have in front of us, nothing has seemed to work. So either way, I do like the program, the effect not my cup of tea. If you guys like this video or have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.